Now it's time to see if Midland High can notch a district win over Friendship, which has already defeated Legacy that we and we just saw them beat Permian and they that team came into the game one and know and it was the Midland High Bulldogs looking for their first win and Tyler Dupnik is out at Astound Broadband Stadium. This one, the weather was a little less wet. Tyler had to go out there. Well, Jenna, it was a very exciting first quarter for a triple option attack that Midland High runs. It was very explosive for their offense early on. Their defense had their moments as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at those first half highlights. A district battle at a Stown Broadband Stadium between the 4-2 and two Midland High Bulldogs looking for their first district win of the season and the 5-1 and one Friendship Tigers who dropped 49 on Midland Legacy a week ago. We'll start on defense. It's a bone-crushing sack by Jane Taylor against Hudson Hutchinson and sets up the first offensive play of the game for the Bulldogs. And it's a pass, if you can believe that. 24-yard touchdown pass from Stroman Bridges to Michael Delgado to make it 8-0 Bulldogs early on. Now, Friendship would quickly answer as it's Hutchinson dropping out of a helicopter to Tate Bills. 8-7, Bulldogs still in front. Now, still early on, it's Mecky McCoy getting the carry, a stiff arm, and he is into the end zone easily with a 17-yard touchdown run as the Bulldogs got the run game going. 15-7, Midland High. It's Moore McCoy. Mecky with a stiff arm, rumbling and stumbling inside the 20. Another stiff arm, and he's looking for the angle. He's into the end zone, but they mark him short at the half-yard line, so it sets up a one-yard rushing touchdown by Bridges. He strolls in, and it's 22-7, Midland High. After a couple of touchdowns for Friendship, last play in the first half, it's Bridges lobbing one up to Kyle Blankard, who's going to fight his way into the end zone for the touchdown. 28 yards as time expires. 28-21 Midland High at halftime. Final score tonight from uh, Stown Broadband Stadium, 42-38, friendship with the win over Midland High. Got a chance to call, talk to head coach Dad Fortune afterwards. Obviously disappointed, but they were, uh, he was very proud of, of his team um, overall. They didn't, they didn't trail uh, until they lost the game. Uh, really impressive stuff, but they got to find a way to win, Fortune told me after the game, Jenna. Hey, thanks, Tyler. You can hear that interview later in overtime on our app and our website.